That's how you get more subs. By getting smashed the whole time? Exactly. If you're like, all right, guys, if you can make it to 300 subscribers, I'll down this whole bottle of Grey Goose. Um, Nintendo, we bring you the Ultra Moon and the Ultra Sun. We swear we are not selling you the exact same game with somewhat different story and design. Is that Man, Japanese is hard to read. Is that just me as some Japanese dude? <laughs> we bring you an altar of sun and the altar of <laughs> We are sw- We are not uh, setting you exact the same game <laughs> with a somewhat uh, different story and design. My friend's mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey, you, well, I am you have the Asian. Yeah. <laughs> so, are you? Do, wait, okay, okay. Actually, no. Here's a question: How can you tell which Ono hole is actually like the waifu? They uh, they customize it usually. But do they do they go to the 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 the, the, they, they, the box will be either design and they will like try to match it with the character like. But like, how do you match it with a character, with a fucking animated drawing? You should get one of those, uh, creepy-ass, like, lifelike dog um, that are modeled after, like, anime, but that costs, like, 20 grand. It's like having an actual, like, doll or a human being. Does it you don't know you? the difference. I can just, just imagine the, uh... Uh, Amazon refuse. I was on the fence about buying this, and then I saw all the features on it, and I really was interested. It'd be interesting if they integrated like Siri or Google Home into it, so you could take oh, notes geez. and set alarms and stuff too. Why you Why you banging it? Yeah. Oh shit, Siri! I forgot. I I have an appointment tomorrow. Cancel my appointment. And it's and it's like it, it reacts to the vibration, so it's like canceling your appointment. <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome alarm clock. Like you just wake up and uh, you're getting a hand job from a doll. Um, let me talk to the chat real quick. If you guys want to donate to my potential sex doll purchases, uh, there's a donation link in the description below. Dude, flashlight alarm clocks. That will be the future. It's basically this like Android hologram AI thing, and you can integrate it to your house. And so what you do is that um, it'll wake you up by saying like "Good morning, darling," and um, you know you'll leave for work, and it'll actually text you like "Hey, when are you going to come home? Um, you know what do you want for dinner? I can order it." For so it's like her. Yeah, it's like her. So it's like, and also if you integrate it with your house, what you can do is, what you do is that you just say. Oh, I'm heading home, and she says, "Oh, I'm so excited to see you home soon." And it'll turn on your lights and the air conditioning for you. Hmm. Oh Jesus! It's like a ghost. Right. Oh my God! I don't want a ghost in my house. Who's you... turning off these lights? <laughs> <laughs> what if you like start dating a real girl though, and then gets jealous and just starts trying to kill you, like Hal from uh, spa uh, from 2001: <laughs> A Space Odyssey? You just tell her, "Baby, baby." It's just I posted, ghosts. I, posted <laughs> I mean, it looks like Taylor Swift, and there's this whole background behind it. Hey, boss, you got a secretary fantasy you'd love to act? Do it with Taylor, then, because she really is an office girl. She's junior assistant at the legal firm, and she knows all the legal loopholes that will slip her under your office as you go over the details of the coming board meeting with the sexy secretary. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's a loop here that says fire warms on contact, ice cools on contact. It comes in different, uh, you know, different heating. It's like Tiger Balm. What? What do you have on the conveyor belt for me? When can I fuck a Pokemon? Uh, uh, here I got this one that looks like an artichoke. <laughs> cause I got bo cause I got bored. <laughs> no, <laughs> don't dip it in mayonnaise. <laughs> it's not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> It'll melt the plastic in your dick. Dude! Uh, I read this story about this girl who baked her granddad into cookies and then gave it to her school. I think <laughs> um, I heard about that. Was that true? I yeah. thought it was false. I mean, I looked it up. That shit was nuts. 
Really? I just miss my granddad so much. I, I thought to... he would possess you. <laughs> I wanted to share him with the world. <laughs> Do you hear his his quaint stories about the olden days? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> you hear that? That's him pushing a hoop down a road with a stick. <laughs> Do you feel my grand? Grandpa, as you push him out your booty hole, do you do you feel his spirit? Do you, do you feel his 1950s racism? <laughs> he's, he's in you forever now. Coming out, I think I've told this story before, but one of my friends used to do gymnastics, and he said one of his uh, classmates had a prolapsed anus. And like while the kid was doing flips, you could see it just swinging around in his boxer shorts. That's disgusting. Yeah, and all the kids bullied him for it. I I bully him too. <laughs> I, I bully him now. Your butt's not inside you. What? What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? <laughs> Your butt's not inside you. What's the matter, lad? <laughs> <laughs> butt got your tongue. I uh I saw these people. I was studying with my, my friend. And uh, behind her, there were these two people on a first date. And, and uh, oh, it went so horrific because this dude went on a rant about, like, what Final Fantasy twelve was. And I was like, no, can't you tell from her face that she's not interested? <laughs> then they started talking about their exes. And I was like, this is just a terrible date. This is just, you, you know, you don't do this. On and then afterwards, he was like, they were talking about going someplace and you or and the dude was like, maybe we can do that together sometime. And I was like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yo, I think my crackhead neighbors just killed someone over a bed deal. Um, can you get over there? <laughs> They're being kind of loud. We're trying to watch DBZ. I do that to my crackhead neighbors. Not because they do crack, but because they're too I'll tell them straight up. Hey, look, you want to stop crack? Just keep it down. I you know I gotta get some sleep. Keep it down. No one likes no one likes a noisy neighbor. <laughs> Drugs or not. <laughs> There's no crack gene. Ain't no gene for crack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Your child looks like was born with a crack gene. No, my right. son. It wasn't a gunshot. They were just fucking around in their garage, and I saw them. I'm doing weird shit at the window. Like, trying to stem the blood loss and stuff? That's fucking fucking weird. <laughs> <laughs> they have their own fucking hospital in the back. They have IVs dripping into veins and shit. <laughs> I need 20 cc's of more crack, please. God, that's so weird. Why are they just putting an IV in that guy? Oh, crack it. Damn crackhead. <laughs> Is that, guy, is that guy playing a yes, sprint? Crap. What the fuck? Oh my god, is he putting pressure on the wound? What a what a freak. Now they're doing x-rays. Stop. Oh, oh man. He's turning from blue and shit. Fuck it, crackheads. <laughs> I'll trade you this crack for this gun. Yeah, maybe it was a, a crack slash, you know, weapon deal. They were like, for, damn. For, for five gum. Yeah. <laughs> what if, uh. You know, that should be the new crack ad campaign. Like, five gum. Smoke your crack in the. In a big, this is what you chewing five gum is like. Yeah. <laughs> Smoke your crack. <laughs> How it feels to chew five gum. Hey, man, you got to get that